Well, hello, this is Wackasm with another solo gaming adventure. Uh, today we are playing Dungeon Pages. Uh, which is a print and play roll uh, and write game that you can f be found over at uh, PNP Arcade. I apologize, it's like 3 a.m. when I'm recording this because uh, I had to get everything set up. Uh, anyway, I've played it a few times, so I think uh, I have a decent handle on the rules. Um, not perfect, uh, but I might be, make a mistake here too, but we shall see. Um, I'm also just kind of practicing my live streaming setup uh, skills, so this won't really be an edited video. I'm hoping to go live streaming in a few days uh, or in a week or so, uh, and this is just practice for that. Um, my old setup I had to redo because I got a new computer, and uh, now I'm just kind of reintroducing elements back to my PC. Eventually, I'll be doing um, physical uh, board games again. Uh, once I get my table set up and uh, my camera set up. Um, but yeah. Um, yep, so as I figure out these tools, uh, th there might be some jank uh, when I'm trying to explore the game or whatever. Let's play Dungeon Pages. Um, so, for starters, uh, let's open this. There we go. Uh, the character I'm going to be playing is uh, Safin. He's uh, a wandering wizard. Um, Zafin always dreamed of adventure after showing a talent uh, for the mystical arts. The elders took the uh, eager student under their wing, though he trained in both sword and bow. He also learned that there's more to knighthood, knighthood than a sharp blade. So anyway, the way the game works is uh, there's a bunch of different characters that you can choose from. Uh, for instance, this is Zafin, but... Uh, I could have chosen Amador, or I could have chosen Mira. I already uh, won Mira's game already, so that was the one that I kind of learned the game with. So uh, I'm going to choose uh, Safin. There's a bunch of other characters too, but I haven't really loaded them into the setup to be able to play. I just kind of, I'm still testing all this out. Um, I have all this printed as well, but my printer setup doesn't look as nice and like I said I don't have my camera set up yet so I don't know maybe at some point I will try to do this like you know with real dice and uh, pen and paper uh, but for now um, I'm doing it this way digitally uh, yeah so anyway uh, you basically you pick a character and then you pick a, a dungeon for them to go uh, through every dungeon at least so far all the ones that I've seen have four smaller dungeons and then a larger dungeon and in order to tackle the last dungeon, you have to tackle all four of these. These can be tackled in any order. Um, so there is a little bit of strategy. Uh, I learned very quickly the first time I played uh, that you can <laughs> choose the wrong order. Um, I haven't really put much thought yet into how I'm going to try to tackle this particular setup. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then what's kind of neat is all the characters, they... They have like a matching dungeon, but you can like kind of use them all for any dungeon. So, uh, you know, once you go through their core dungeon, you can kind of just swap it another character and try it with a whole new different uh, character with a, a different ability and different weapons and different relics. Um, this character's ability is a beam of energy. Uh, you sacrifice a good die, which I'll talk about once we start playing. Uh, you choose a die result of three or less and double it. Um, all right, so I guess let's get started. Um, like I said, the setup is a little bit janky. There's some stuff I'm gonna have to figure out as I go. Um, biggest issue I'm gonna have right now is... So to start the game, I'm going to... Where I practiced all this before streaming. Okay, there we go, I forgot how to do it. So you can lock dice. I'm just going to lock these down because you only start the game with one good dice. Um, and then where you go on the map is going to determine um, lock you. All right, let's see what happens. I roll these, only these two roll. Okay, got it. Are we going to end up spending more time figuring out the dice stuff than I do anything else? You know what? We're going to do the smart thing here. 
Um, I have it logging the dice up here in case I make any mistakes. Uh, again, like I said, testing stuff out. Um, so don't really worry about the totals that kind of show up. I really only care about what dice are actually rolled each time. So, yeah. So, Zafine, we are going to pick the cave to start with. Um, I'm not really sure if these are always put in order um, that's best. I feel like they aren't. I feel like part of the puzzle is figuring out, like, which location you should be going to first. Um, but I'm going to choose the cave... Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing the crypt uh, because uh, I kind of learned last time that rolling multiple dice is not too bad uh, early on when you're only deal when you only have one good dice to roll. This particular bad guy in the cave doesn't look too menacing. Anyway, let me start and then I'll kind of explain what I'm doing and the choices I make as I go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roll one black dice because the cave says hey you roll one black dice they're called bad dice and i have one white dice which is a good dice so i've gotten a six and a two so i can use these dice however i want and i'm basically trying to make a path down from this door um, all the way down to this treasure chest down here um I want to make this path so that every number is kind of connecting. Uh, so, you know, for instance, if I put a one here, I want to put a one or a two here. If I put a two here, I want to put a, um, a one, two or three. Like you always want the numbers when connecting from the door to uh, the chest at the end of the dungeon to always be within one uh, of the previous number. Um, but you'll kind of see as we go. Um, the black dice is only showing a two, so the first thing we do is we check and see if uh, the guardians do any damage. The guardians only damage us uh, when they roll a five or above, so we are are good there. So we are just going to immediately write a. We're going to use our black two, and we're going to put our six here. Uh, the reason why we're putting the six here is when you put a number next to an enemy. Um, you're basically doing damage to that enemy. This guard guardian has a defense of three and has two hit points. So the two hit points mean that we have to get at least two values around this guardian uh, that's higher than its shield value, which is a three. Um, and so that's kind of like doing one point of damage to it. We've used up all our dice, um, so we are just going to start the next round. So... Um, First thing we check is the, the evil dice is a four. Again, they only do damage to us when they roll a five, so we are pretty safe again. Uh, so we have a four and a five. Downside here is um, I really want to go this way. Um, I really want to go down and around uh, and get another um, three, four, five, or six next to this enemy. This way uh, it can't damage us um, for the rest of the level. I also need to be mindful that I, I connect this with a, a two, a three, or a four here, and I did not roll, and not a four, uh, a one, two, or three, but I did not roll those. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to kind of waste these numbers. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to put a four here, and we'll put a five, um, and that's the end of the turn. We're going to roll again. Uh, same, same problem. Um, all right, so I don't want to put any numbers here because if I put or, or five here, I'm going to lose my ability to finish the dungeon and actually get XP from this dungeon, which would be a horrible start. Um, but I only get one more roll, so, you know, bad luck is bad luck. Um, but one good thing is, is I can put a four here, and when I do that, items in this game, basically, you get whenever you put um, two of the same number next to it. So in this particular case, uh, a four and a four. Uh, so I get this coin. Now this coin is going to let me um, change a dice value up or down one if I if I choose to use it. Uh, so that might help me for this spot. So anyway, I used up my four. I used up the five. We're going to keep going. All right. That's a very unfortunate roll. Um, there's really not much I can do. I just keep getting uh, high numbers here. So um, and actually, I don't remember... Was the black dice the five or the four last time? I think it was. 
I forgot to check. So whenever the black dice is five, I take damage. I think it was last time. So I should have taken a damage and I take a damage again. Um, because again, this is a black five. Um, I'm kind of forced to put the fives here. So this is basically locking me out from getting any XP. XP is really useful. That's how you unlock your extra dice and your extra stuff. Uh, so this is a pretty bad start, but again, not much I can do. Um, hosed myself by putting the two here, but I thought I was, I don't know. It's, I thought I was doing a smart move by quickly getting the damage with the six there, but apparently, uh, luck wise, um, was not the smartest thing to do. Um, okay. So, uh, that's both fives. I took the damage. It's not really anything else. So, that, so what I will try to do before this, uh, I exit this dungeon is I will at least try to get the health potion and this coin, which then might help me, uh, in one of the other dungeons. Um, all right. So another four and a five, the four is okay. Cause we need a five before we take damage. So we're just gonna do a four and a five. All right. Let's roll again. One and a four. All right. So we're going to put the one here and a four here. So this enemy is now dead because we did uh, two points of damage. It needed a uh, few points of damage done to it. A six and a four are greater than its three defense. So I don't have to worry about it attacking me anymore, but uh, I do need a five in this spot to get this potion or a one in this spot now to get this coin. So we'll see. I did get the five. So we're going to put the five here. Gonna get this and we're gonna use it right away. This basically just gives us more health. Um, so now we have three more points of damage that we can take. And I have to use this three, so we're just gonna waste it up here. Uh, there's the one. So we got the coin. Um, and there's not anything else useful I can do in this dungeon. So I will just um, connect that. So this is our path. Let me change this. Our path is like this, but unfortunately, uh, it's not a good path. Actually, let me let me change that color. I want to use um, red. Red is going to indicate uh, that that was not good. But yeah, that's our path. Um, whoop, whoop. There we go. Uh, a very simple path, but the numbers are not connected. So not they're not connected they're connected sequentially. So I am not getting that bonus. Uh, all right. So I have to pick a new dungeon to go to. Um, not having that extra dice makes this a little bit scarier. Um, it's this guy, he does um, one damage each. Oh no, he does, he, hmm, he only does one damage each, but when there's only one of them, he's harder to kill. We get more dice here. So I guess, I guess we're just gonna go to the crypt. So we did this first. We're gonna do this one second. We're just kind of go in order. Um, I probably would not have gone in order had I got the XP from this dungeon, but I was not lucky. So um, now we have three dice to work with. All right, so I'm gonna do the first roll. Okay, so not the greatest start here. Um, the first thing we do is we check the dice. We check to see if there's any devils. Whenever you roll more than uh, one black dice, whenever this little icon's on the board, you have a, a risk of wandering monsters. Doubles will just guarantee give you one damage. There's nothing you could do to stop it. I did not get doubles, but I did get a five and six. Um, so the guardians here are going to damage me because I, I got at least the fives, and there's two of them. So I'm going to take two damage from these guardians. Um, now let's see what I can do. Well, we're going to do six, five, us. Uh, yeah, we're going to do the, use the black six and the five here. And we're going to put the two over here. We'll hope we can get a four and then kind of continue this way uh, and actually get XP this time. The two up there, start our way down there. Now, this little space right here is Cursed Fog. When marked, reroll all dice and begin a new turn. Reduce your uh, range by two this turn, but no lower than one. Um, I didn't really talk about it. I start with an oak staff with a range of one, so this is not going to really affect me too badly. Um, this game, uh, well, right now because I don't really have any range, but we shall see. Um, all right, gonna roll again. I got a three, a four, and a four. 
Um, that is not too bad. Uh, I don't take any damage. No wandering monsters. The guardians don't damage me. Uh, fours do hurt this, but yeah, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do a, since I have a five and a four next to this guy, he dies. So at least now, um, I take one less damage if they attack. And then I'm just going to drop the three here, maybe. I don't have a key for this potion, I just realized. So like, here's an example where if you did these out of order, if I would have done the red eagle in first, I could have gotten this key to get this potion. I didn't even notice that. So there's a little bit of replayability and learning, you know. Oh, I've seen this area before. I got to remember that there's a key that I can use to unlock that. But uh, it's too late. I didn't notice it. So and probably again, if I would have su succeeded on the cave, I probably would have went to here second because I would have had an extra dice to get to this guy faster and, and kind of deal with it. Um, uh, so I have a four, a four. Um, I'm going to put the three here. No, I'm going to put the three here. We roll all dice and begin a new turn. So you know what? We're going to leave this because... I put something here, I might be able to salvage bad rolls. I'm going to put the three here because that keeps our, whoops, our path going the way that we want it to. All right, reroll time. So a two, a four, and a two. So first we check for wandering monsters, no wandering monsters. Um, we get this four here, which is good. Gives us this. Um, a two here. Keeps this going, and then I'm going to put the last two win marked, reroll all dice, and begin a new turn. Reduce my range, it doesn't really affect me, so I'm just going to immediately take the new turn. Um, all right, a six, a three, and a two. Uh, so we are just going to. How do we want to do this? Um, we want to make sure that I can get these two coins. But it has to be, okay. These take damage with threes and up. So we're gonna do it like this. Three, and we're gonna throw away the six. Reason why I did that is I'm hoping to be able to connect a three here when we finish and get the two coins. Um, and three does do damage to the guardian, as far as I can tell, so. Um, if I if I end up going around this way, still, you know, mm, not going to waste it there, though. I'm going to put it here, because this way I can just do the damage to the Guardian if I need to. A 1, a 4, and a 3. Um, we take no damage, no 5s are rolled, no Wandering Monsters. Um, so we're going to put the 3 here. Um, we're gonna burn the one up here. So now, now it's looking pretty good. Like we're gonna be able to connect this um, this path sequential sequentially. So six five four four three two three. If I put a three here, um, it'll connect it, and I'll get these two coins, um, which is good. Um, so in order to get XP, you want you get XP per column, full column that you have filled out. So now my goal is to fill out as many columns as I can before I exit the dungeon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, um, I burned the one up here already. Uh, that gives me this column, and did I use the three? I don't think I, uh, yeah, I used the three. I think this is where I put the three this turn. Roll again. Now I can't take damage, and I just have to hope that I don't lock myself out of getting out. Um, so we're going to use the five here. We're going to use the four here, and I'm going to use the three here. So now I, I have to just, on my next roll, I have to get a three. Um, hopefully I get a three without having to, to, to use any coins, but we'll see what happens. I did get a three, so we are just going to burn the five. Um, and I'm going to put the last three here, and that's going to immediately give me this, and I'm going to end up exiting, exiting the dungeon. Uh, so our path... Um, where are you? There we go. So our path starts here. You go down. 
through here out. I mean, technically, yeah, that's the only path, but yeah, it doesn't really matter to the path as long as there is a path, but sometimes you end up with like longer ways you could have went makes the, makes the line that you draw more interesting. Um, but not in this case. All right. So let's just count up the XP I get. So I get one XP, two XP, three XP, four XP. Um, I don't think I get the XP for this. This is one of those rules I got to check because this is a locked door. It could have been opened and I didn't have the key. So I'm going to rule that I don't, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if this counts as a spot that you count for XP, but I'm going to say no. And then I also get uh, XP for killing the two guardians. So I get one XP. So in total, I get six XP. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm still not where I wanted to be. I really wanted to get 8 XP, but losing the cave really kind of hampered that. But I do get um, this lightning bolt, which kind of gives me some options now. Now I'll be able to do stuff in range uh, that I couldn't do before with my dice. So now I have to decide, do I want to attempt this red eagle, red eagle in without this extra dice here? And I feel like... Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna risk the sewers. That that extra dice is really important. Um and it's gonna make this a lot easier to deal with. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to the sewers next. This could be a horrible idea, I don't know. Um why is this got a X um a star on it? You're trying to tell me. Oh, it's just saying that they're the orc got it. Same thing here. So same same amount of dice. I haven't unlocked any any new dice up here yet, unfortunately. Um, but I do have a lot of ways to manipulate dice, so hopefully that kind of save me. Anyway, first roll. Six, a four, and a three. So um, these orcs only need fours, so they are definitely going to be damaging me. I did not get wandering monsters, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end up just taking three damage. One, two, three. Um, and now I have three dice to use. So right now they have four defense. So I can, I mean, I can immediately kill this guy. Which I'm going to put a, oh, not what I'm going to do. Well, I am going to do it, but it's, I'm not doing it the way that I want to. So I'm going to use my lightning bolt, which gives me a range of two. And I'm going to jump from the door here and I'm going to put down a three and then my four. Wait, yeah, so I need a four here. Um, I guess if I'm doing it that way, I could just do it like this. Um, four, three, and I just have to get a four here. All right, we'll do it that way. Um, and then I will, I'm going to be wasting my six if I put it there. Can't go diagonal. Six, six, nope. All right, we are just going to put this, we are gonna do what we said, but we're gonna put the six here. I feel, I don't like putting sixes near items if I don't have to, um, so that's what we're gonna do. Kinda wished I could have killed him. I mean, I could have still done it. I could go this way. Uh, we'll risk it. No, we're not gonna risk it. We're gonna put the six here. Now we only have one way to go. This is gonna be really tight. But I just realized I only have six health left. Threes and fours, they damage on a four. Um, I'm going to prevent the damage. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of my coins and I'm gonna change that black four to a black three. Um, this is one of those scenarios where using an app versus real dice is harder. I can't actually change the face on this dice. So I just have to remember that I have a uh, black three. Um, so I have a three, a three, and a five. Yeah, so because I changed that they don't do the damage, just now there's no black three, black fours. You can manipulate the dice to prevent damage. That's one of the uses of, of the coins. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start down here with the threes. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put one three up here so I can get this poison. Um, I'm going to put the other three there. And I'm going to put the five 
right there. And then he takes the damage. So three, three, five. Uh, I'm going to roll. So the poison, I believe, lets me put a four down whenever I, whenever I really need it. I don't really need it yet. Um, so we're just going to kind of hold on to it for now. Um, this dragon that we're going to face takes damage with four, so it might be useful there. Um, and I noticed there's this poison, and I'm not sure what this is. I think that's a teleport. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that up. All right, so I rolled a five, a three, and a two. Um, I think we're just going to keep this roll and take the damage, unfortunately. I take two damage, because uh, a five is greater than four. But this lets me... I can shoot the five here uh, with the lightning bolt. And that's going to kill him. And that lets me take the two... And the three gives me these, and it keeps my path clean. And also, having this space here means I can't accidentally connect the door the wrong way. Um, I think that's the right move. Oh, we're going to roll again. Oh, another black five. We are just going to take the damage. Puts us at three health left. Um... What do I want to do here? Two, two, and five. I think what I'm going to do... Five doesn't really help me. Oh, it, it does help me, actually. So I'm going to put the two here. Five here. This gives me the key. And I'm going to put the last two right here. When we do that, we trigger the Cursed Fog. When marked, uh, we reroll the dice and begin a new turn. And I reduce my range. So now, basically, for my, my next turn, I can't use my Lightning Bolt effectively for one turn. That's what that's going to do. Um, all right, we got a three, a four, and a five. So I'm taking a damage again. Can't really do much about that. I mean, I could, but I'm not... Saving all these coins for, for this dungeon. Um, cause this, this guy does do damage and that's going to be bad. So, uh, all right. I can just kill this guy off right now. I think that's what we're... And I kind of want to get these coins with the other five, but I think not taking any more damage is the, the correct place. I'm going to do a four. No, actually I just realized. Whereas I can't kill him because I need to keep this connected. All right, so we're we're gonna have to rush rush out of here. I think we're gonna do three, five. Uh, you know what? No, we're gonna do three, four, five, and we're gonna get these two coins. Hope to get a two, and then stuff that connects us out, and hope we don't take damage. Um. Five, a five, and a one. Not great. Probably the worst. In the five, five's not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to take the damage, unfortunately. Um, we are going to use one of these coins to make this a two. So I can unlock this and get two health back. And then we're just going to five, five our way. Oh, we didn't fill this out. Oh, no, I, I couldn't. That's why. I could have, hmm, risk it. I'm not going to risk it for one XP. I probably should, but yeah, I'm not going to. All right, so that gives us our path. We went here, down, and over. Assuming I have not broken any rules or forgotten any dice. Um, this gives us one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. I totally forgot about needing. I should have should have made this a three. That would have given me more. Oh well. So I think I had eight XP. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That puts me at fourteen. So I unlock this and I unlock this. So now I get an extra white dice. Um. Over. Um. I also get another potion, which is good. I have a little bit more health to work with. And now I, can I can't take this weapon. Don't have enough XP. So all I can take is this ring. So 
Uh, the relics, you only get as many uses um, as you have. Um, so two, so I, I may re-roll one good, good die twice. All right. So we have to go to the Red Eagle Inn next. Oh, in the Red Eagle Eagle Inn, we are only rolling one black dice. Um, so I think we should be okay. Let's just start it. Um, all right. Starting off with some damage, we are going to negate that damage. We're going to use this dice right here, or this coin right here. Um, make that black four a three. So we don't take any. Oh, you know, well, it doesn't matter actually. I forgot that when there's only one orc left, their defense goes up, but I ended up not killing him anyway. So this guy, I have to have fives next to him. That's what I have to remember. So I have a two, a three, and a four to use. So I'm just going to very two, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to do it that way. Hmm, actually, you know what? No. I have this lightning bolts. So we're going to do, we'll still do the two here, but we're going to skip this space, do three and four. I don't have any diagonals with this character, which makes it a little bit more challenging, but um, doing it that way just so I can try to get to him faster, but we still have to get over this trap too. You have to look up what that is. Um, of the physical rules right here. Used to mark any wall or locked door as if it was an empty space. That is a teleport potion. Uh, I also have that poison potion, but I'm not going to use that yet. Let's roll. See what we get. Hopefully we get... Uh, I don't remember what I want. I, I, I need a two and a three. Got the two. Of course, we rolled a black five, so we're gonna take the damage. We don't want to use two coins. Don't love this roll, so we are going to shoot a six down here. We're gonna skip this space for now. Um, we are gonna put a two here. Gives us this coin, and we're just gonna waste a five up here. I think. All right. Roll again. Three, a four, a six. So we will use a coin. We'll use this coin we just got. To lower that black dice to a three. Um, so that uh, we don't take any damage from the steadfast orc. Um, then we will put a three here. And we will put a three here. Then we have a six. Mm, actually, you know what? We're not going to put that three there. We are going to put... The six up here, and we are going to use the three in the cursed fog. This way, we can keep our um, path connected. Immediately forces us to re-roll, and okay, we got a low black dice this time, so I don't have to worry about damage. A two, a three, and a six. We can't use range, which is unfortunate because that six would have really helped us. Um, but we can use the three here and get the coin and the two here, and we could start making our way down with the six. And that's a pretty straightforward turn. All right, we got a six, so we are taking another damage. We are down the three damage. We have a three, a four, and a six. The three gives us the key, which I don't even think we need. Because the only other unlocked door was here. Um, but it does give us a six, which kills this guy. Uh, we needed fives or higher. Um, and then we have a four to use, which we will just burn over here, I guess. Um, I probably should have put the three here and not worried about the key. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. We don't need the key. So we'll shoot the six down here with the lightning bolts. We'll put the three here just in case. And then we'll put the four here. And if I get another three, I'll, I'll get the key just for fun. But I don't actually need it. I don't have to worry about damage anymore. Three, three, and four. Um, 
So three, got the key again. We'll put the other three here and put the four here. So what we're hoping for is a six to get this teleport portion and a three, two, three or four to finish this out. Um, that's what we're hoping for in this last roll. We did not get a six. I don't think it's worth using two coins to get that teleport potion, but I don't know. Let's see. Is there a reason why we want that teleport potion so badly? Um, I mean, we have a key for this. Yeah, we're just gonna put a three here and end this dungeon. All right, so even though we had a really bad start, we're still alive. Um, so that's good. We got this path right here. Uh, three, two, three, two, three, out the dungeon. Um, and, um, let's count our XP. We get one XP, two XP, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so that puts us at 21. So I can get this chain mail, or I can get something that lets me re-roll a dice. Um, is that any dice? I think that might be. I think that lets me re-roll re ones, which, yeah, it's not one dice. I think I can only re-roll if, if I roll a one, I can re-roll it. So my health is pretty low. Oh, I get another white dice, which is good. So I would have liked to get this extra range, and I don't even know what that is, but we didn't get it, and we're not going to be getting it. So um, I think I'm going to take... Ooh, I could also... No, I can't take this. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I need the extra... This is basically three extra life. Um, and we're just going to have to hope we can make do without needing to re-roll once. Um, and I have not used this ability once, actually. I just realized... Just realized I probably I could have gotten this this teleport potion. I had a one, a four, and a three. I could have gotten rid of yeah, I'm gonna do that. Could have um gotten rid of the one because I didn't even use it. The double the three to a six and then used a four here instead. Uh yeah. That works. I didn't even think I don't know I don't even know if I'm gonna use this teleport potion, but totally like forgot he has an ability. I don't think it really would have come into play much. Because most of the problems that I'm having is taking damage. Um anyway. So we are now on to your men god's dom domain. Uh your men god, I guess is this dragon, berserk dragon. Uh he's the boss. Um uh, he does damage on fours. And we're only three black dice now, so that's going to be bad. Um, whoops. This is what we're rolling, a whole six dice now. Um, so it's going to be high probability he's going to be doing damage. In addition, these guys exist, and they also do damage on fours. Um, fours are higher. So he does two damage for every for uh, when we roll a four or higher. Um, they do one damage when we roll a four or higher. Uh, in addition... Um, he deals one plus one more damage once we do one damage to him. Uh, and he has five life, and we have to use sixes to kill him. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. There's two health potions, so we have um, something to look forward to, potentially. Uh, two health potions gives us another five hit points to work with. So let's see what happens. Let's do our first roll. Six, four, four. That's a... That's a horrible start. <laughs> I could use... So, first of all, when we roll natural doubles, we're going to take a damage um, that can't be prevented. We can't even use the chain mail to prevent that. Um, now, if I want to take no damage, I have to use five coins right off the bat. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins. If I don't, I'm taking four damage. One, two... Yeah, I mean, I have to, because even with this, uh, even with this ignore one damage, I'm going to be dead. So, yep. So I have to use all these coins. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five coins. Not a great start. I turn all the fours to threes and the six to a three. If 
but I take no damage from the Berserk. So, so I don't think I'm going to be making it through this dungeon unless I get a really, really good lucky four rolls of black dice of low rolls. So, so can we kill anything what we have? We have a six, a two, a one, a bunch of threes. So we can go through this door because we have keys. So we're going to do that. Let's re-roll this one. Um, so I want to do that. Just use the two. But in addition for this last one, if we can make, if we can get to the end after we kill the boss, uh, and if we can make it sequential, we get the points, but the XP doesn't really do anything for us. Um, teleport doesn't do anything for us here. Not looking good. Um, like I said, it's really late. It's like 3.30 in the morning right now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use the three... Two, six, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, not having a diagonal is really not helping right now. Um, I mean, I don't think there's any way I can kill it. Got the six. I could double one, but if I double it, I can't, can't get any closer. So we're just gonna use all the dice, and we're, we're gonna we're gonna use this mist and try to get near the south potion. Maybe that that can keep us alive for a turn. I don't know. So three, three, two, six, another three, and we'll use the one. Don't really care about the range this turn. Well, I kind of do for this, but I need the six here. So all right, let's re-roll. See what happens. That is not. The worst roll, but I don't think I have enough coins now to. I have three coins left. One, two, three. I can turn the five to a three and the four to a three, and that gives me six, two, two. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. We have three more coins. Makes it so I don't die. The six goes here, kills him. I don't have the one, but I can start. Just trying to kill him. Can't do ranged either. So I did the six. I'm gonna do four. Oh wait, no, not a four. These are all threes. So I'll do two, three, three. Use the six. I have three threes and two twos. Six, three, three. All right, so the question is, do I use this last coin here to get this? I think I have to, because that gives me three more life right out, out of the gate and kind of keeps me alive. If I roll poorly, I'm taking two, three, and there's nothing I can do, even with this good ring of fortune. So, or with the enchanting, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use this coin that I just picked up to make one of those twos a one. So we did with six, two, one, two, three, three. I think I did one too many twos, so. so this should be a th another three. And that should be one. That gives me that. Three, three, three. There's the three black dice. Two, two I turned into one, and the six to kill that. Okay. And now I need fives and sixes for him, too. Okay. Time to roll. See if I live. So that would have prevented, well, you live and learn, I guess. Um, all right, so I got this last turn. I have three more life. I have the four, though. I cannot manipulate it. I don't think I have any more coins unless I missed one. Uh, I used the key. Yeah, I think I used all my coins. So I'm taking one, two, three... Minus one. I'm taking two damage. Um, I cannot kill him this turn, but I can get a five down in preparation. I think my next best thing to do is to zerg this way to try to get this and this. 
Because once I do one damage to him as well, he's going to start doing a lot more damage. So unless I roll like all sixes, I don't think it's going to matter. So do as so I use the five. Two twos. So three. Use the five, four, three. I have two twos and a one. So we're going to put the last one right here. And we're going to do two. And then for the last uh, two, we're going to put it in the cursed fog. Unlocking this triggers the cursed fog. I have to re immediately do another turn, and I don't get range this time. So we just have to hope I don't die. Well, I, I won't die. Well, I could die with, with, with doubles. I did not get doubles. I did get a four, but... I can change that black four to a three. So that black four is a three. So I have a one, a two, a three in black, and then a one, two, five in white. So first five, we don't have to worry about him anymore. He's done. So now I have to get close to him and I have the ability to double dice, but I need sixes. Uh, so I need threes is what I need. And I have one three. Second I do damage, I take more more damage from him, so is that even worth doing? Hmm and I think it is probably. Uh, so use the five. Use the five. So we can do Oh wait, I, I this is where the teleport potion would come in handy, I think. We're gonna use the teleport. Po we're gonna use the uh, teleport potion right here to go straight, straight in this way. Lose the black too. Um. Use the black one here. Black one. White two. Sorry, I have to undo this. Let's see. I feel like I've forgotten. Use the five immediately, and I used I got the two last turn. Okay, so I haven't used anything. Um, have one, two. I need, I'm trying to. I think I'm gonna double and do a six right away. And just do damage. So he has five health. We're gonna, we're just gonna need to zerg him down. I think. Um, and I need to unlock this health for the last two. That's why I'm trying to get in here. So we're gonna use this to go, to go straight through. So we're gonna do one, one, two. We're gonna get rid of the white two, make the black three a six. Okay, so he is now, he's taken one damage. He's gonna start doing three damage. So we just have to hope for the best. And I just need another two. One, two, three, four, five, six dice, yeah. I need another two to get this. Other than that, I just need to do damage. I need white sixes and low blocks. That's what I need. Two, two, three. That's a great roll. Two, two, three. I take no damage. Take no damage. Oh, I take one damage from the doubles. Sorry, I can't not prevent that damage from the wandering monsters. So I have two health left. We're going to immediately use one of the twos here to get that. Immediately use it. One, two, so we have four health. Uh, and I have a three that I can double. So we'll use this one. We'll use the power to double it. So we have a six. And it's not connected. He's not dead yet anyway. I have to kill him before I can leave anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, now the problem is, is wasting spaces. Get up there. And I could do another six right now with this. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn that five into a six with my last white dice. And then I'm going to use my lightning bolt to skip this space. And do a one. And then a two here. And I don't know if I can kill him. I can actually, well, I can't because of the six. No, I think I, I, think I made it impossible to connect and get all the XP. For like a high score. Because I can't go up this way. 3 1, 4 2 1. Yeah, I made it impossible. If I would have saved this and not gone through the wall, I could have done it. But and I have that 4 too. This 4 to 4 doesn't do anything for me though. I have a poison from the 4 that I've been holding on to that 
does nothing, as far as I can tell. All right, next turn. Six, three, and a two. So I am taking damage from the dragon. I'm taking three damage. I'm going to use my enchanted chainmail to make it two damage. So I think if I take any more damage, I lose. But I think I kill him this turn, so it doesn't matter. I have two sixes. Six, six, that's five damage. So he dies. So I can't take, I, I can take damage from wandering monsters, but I don't think it matters because literally if I just draw a three here, it connects from here all the way down, all the way, wait, does it? Yeah, it connects all the way through right to there. Okay, so we survived. We did not get a very good score. Uh, let's see. I don't get any XP. So we're going to do red again because. Red's going to show that we um, did poorly with our pathing, but this is our path. Goes up, goes down, goes down, all the way through. So I did not think I was going to survive. Once once we had this, this really bad cave, um, I didn't think we were going to make it, but uh, remembering that I had this ability to double was pretty key. Um, I probably sh could have re-rolled, too. I totally forgot. Um, there's probably... A Probably when I needed like an exact number through here, I probably could have used the reroll that I totally forgot that I had. Um, but yeah, we ended up killing him. So uh, that's all that really mattered. He died. Uh, so on my first game that I played, I did get XP and everything. I ended up with like 50 XP, but not, it, it wasn't this hero and it wasn't this map. So uh, my final score for this is 21, but we did win. And that's all that really mattered. So anyway, I'm super tired. It's been fun. This has been good practice for me. I apologize. It's probably playing way slower than other people, and I probably talk too much. But I do this for fun, and uh, hopefully I will get better at the talking and the overthinking and the, the slower play. Uh, uh, this has been Dungeon Pages, and this has been Wackasm, and I thank you for enjoying uh, joining me on this adventure, and I hope to see you soon. Wackasm.